Right then, so there are actually different types of processor types. About, so by processor types, I don't mean like the AMD, Intel, stuff like that. But I mean the coprocessor, parallel processor, and then the array processor. Now, the coprocessor is an additional processor in the computer which is used for a specific task. It improves the processing speed by executing concurrently. An example of this is a maths coprocessor, so like a floating or floating point acceleration. Then another example is that the graphics card, so graphics coprocessor, since that just focuses on the video part. Now for the parallel processor, it is more than one processor controlled by a complex operating system. Working together to perform a single ta a single job, uh, which is split into tasks. Each task may be performed by any processor. Now the advantages of the parallel processor is that it increases the speed so multiple instructions can be processed at once. Uh, it is complex tasks are performed efficiently. It allows faster processing. It is uh, more than one instruction or a program is processed at the same time. Different processors can handle different tasks or part of the same job. Now, the disadvantages of the parallel processor is that it is not suitable for some programs. Programs written spe uh, specifically uh, may need to be rewritten. Operating systems is more complex to in to ensure the synchronization, uh, programs has to be written in a suitable format. Programs are more difficult to test, write, and then debug. Now, the last processor is the array processor, the processor that allows the same instruction to operate simultaneously on multiple data locations. The same calculation on different data is very fast. It is a single instruction multiple data, data thing, so SIMD. Uh, the advantages are that it involves one processor but multiple ALUs, so automatic logic units, uh, designed to execute the same instruction on several pieces of data simultaneously, uh, means that operations can be carried out very quickly. Able to do the same calculation on multiple data locations rather than starting at the beginning and then processing them one by one so it speeds up the processing. The disadvantages though are that it relies on the data set sets all acting on the same instruction and it is impossible to use the results on one data set to produce the next. The, an example of an array processor is weather, weather forecasting since it needs to get data from loads of other places and then it does it at the end so one instruction could just be like collecting the data or so. Uh, uh, array processors are used in time dependent operations which require large amounts of processing time. The next video is on the WISC and CISC so the reduced instruction set computer and then the a complex instruction set computer. Thanks for watching.